Hey everybody and welcome to my second vlog of 2024. Happy New Year to all of you and this video, let's get straight into it. I want this to be a reflection video. This is our baby, Ophelia Rose. She might have to go down to sleep soon. It's her nap time. But I wanted my husband to be in this video because we both experienced 2023 mainly together and we've experienced quite a bit 2023 has brought me a lot of i would say a lot of strength um just because of the physical ailments that i had to go through with being pregnant for most of 2023 i got pregnant january of last year <laughs> um yeah january of last year i found out i was pregnant so i was already maybe about four weeks pregnant when I had found out. Um, that was, I remember the day, January 4th, I took a pregnancy test. Jordan's parents were here visiting and um, I was working at a retail store at that time and I hadn't gotten my period. I was pretty late, took a test and I was pregnant. Like when I tell you, I had the pregnancy test on the fridge throughout my whole pregnancy the line was still dark to show you how pregnant I was like it was like yes you are pregnant there is no uh doubt in it so yeah I had a lot of mixed emotions when I initially found out it was really uh I was joyful of course and grateful but I was so terrified I was like Lord I, I kept talking to the Lord saying please oh, I just don't want to go through what I went through in my past which we've had two miscarriages but we had miscarriages kind of like back to back two of them and the second one was more severe because I had to actually get a DNC done and that's just a procedure that they do to take out um, all of the baby from your body um, instead of you doing it like naturally because if you do it naturally um, the pain can be really bad so they suggest to do a DNC um, and they put you under anesthesia and all that. So that's what I had to go through the year of 2022. Um, yeah, so actually, yeah, the miscarriages happened in 2022. And then I got pregnant with Ophelia six months after my second miscarriage. So it was just like, uh, I was really, I was really scared. Um, but I was really excited. And the months went by and I was still pregnant and it was not an easy pregnancy my husband could tell you uh, I might I keep getting out of the frame sorry you guys but um yeah my husband could tell you it was not an easy pregnancy for me I could not sleep really well at all my appetite was really bad remember that yeah my appetite was pretty bad I was nauseous a lot um I never really threw up though I, I think I threw up maybe once or twice throughout the whole pregnancy um, but I was pretty nauseous. My appetite was really, like, minimal. That really sucked. Um, and then once I got bigger, I started to get more swollen. And I could not sleep throughout the night because she was just moving like crazy. She, her feet were all over the place. Like, there, there were times where I had to get up and, like, maybe sleep on the couch because her feet would be like lodged up into my diaphragm like it was so bad um yeah so and then I, at my 36 week checkup appointment my husband was with me i ended up getting a preeclampsia you all know that story i uploaded that video and my blood pressure was as high as someone overdosing on heroin that's what <laughs> yeah. my husband said um so that was not fun i had to be induced that same day we went straight to the hospital um but yeah that's just kind of like a recap of my 2023 i i spent it mainly pregnant and then um caring and nursing our baby um unfortunately she couldn't really latch too well on onto my breast so i've been exclusively pumping this whole time and yeah it's not my favorite but it gets my milk to my baby so and that's important to me um, 
Good job, Bean. We call her Bean. That's her <laughs> nickname. Um, but yeah, and me and my husband on New Year's Eve, we actually sat down and talked about our highs and our lows of 2023. I won't really go into that. That's more personal between me and him. <laughs> it happened when like, I don't know, something is locked up in your nose and it's like hard to like breathe through. Anyway, but uh, yeah, that's more personal for me and hubby, but um, I suggest that you do that with your loved ones too, or just reflect, write it down, right? Your highs and lows of last year. Um, and like, I guess for like a resolution type of deal for this new year, I guess maybe I have a couple. Um, the first one would be to, you know, it, it, everything always in God's will. I always want God's will to come through into my life because I may have a sort of idea of something or a plan, but you know, God's will will always come into fruition and it's my job to accept it. And it's my job to lead with it. Um, and that's what I pray for, to lead in God's will and um, <clears throat> to have God's will fulfilled in my life. Um, that's very important to me and I, I I do pray that I grow my clientele and my beauty business when it comes to makeup and hair and that's already starting I'm, I'm gonna be starting school this month um, it's coming it's coming it's coming and I'm really 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 excited uh, have orientation on the 18th and school starts on the 22nd my mom will be here on the 21st um, yeah so I definitely want to grow my beauty skills and you know I, I pray that God will send me positive godly woman into my life where I can practice my um, where I can practice my skills on um, and yeah just keep growing my skills and not giving up um, and doing that and I guess the second resolution would be to give myself more grace and to forgive myself more and to lean on Christ more um, because I tend to when I'm in this state of worry or doubt or anxiety fear all of that anger um, I tend to go away from God right because there's shame in that um, I feel guilty for even feeling what I'm feeling um, that's not of God, I guess. Um, and so I want to more fervently and more uh, fearfully, uh, right, fearfully go to God more and um, be in conversation with him more, be in his word more. Me and my husband, like I've mentioned again in previous videos, that we're reading the Old Testament right now. And that's um, really helping me to understand what what God's purpose for his people was, uh, what it originally was, and it makes me super grateful. I think it makes my husband grateful also for Jesus <laughs> so that we don't have to sacrifice all these animals, you know, splatter all this blood everywhere, you know, light all these incense and yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Babe, sorry, I'm like, I just, yeah. Your right. turn. <laughs> uh, 2023, yeah, when I found out you were pregnant, uh, the third time, yeah, I was kind of like, time. we were both excited, but we were both a little, like, on edge, I guess, because the, the first pregnancy was like, wow, like, that happened quick, like, okay, I don't know what to expect, this is really exciting, all the emotions that hit, hit you when you find out you're going to be a parent, and then, uh, the miscarriage happened and we were like really bummed out but we we're like well we'll just try again it's fine and the second one happened and then that's when at least for me like doubt started to creep in like do I want to try again do I want to put my wife through that again and do I want to go through that again and the like, light just sorry the light just turned off you guys so if it's dark yeah sorry it's, okay. it's reflecting off my head <laughs> um so yeah when the the third one happened, um, I was, I remember my reaction, I think you came out to, I just got home and you came yes. out to the car, and I you were remember. like, 
It's like you're showing me a C on a report card. You're like, <laughs> it's passing, but it's not great. Like, yeah. that, that was kind of how I felt. <laughs> so we I were, was very emotional during that yeah. time, too. Like, I had so much anxiety, so much excitement. It was a lot. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, so I was still excited and still hopeful. And, you know, if, if we lost a third one, then we'd probably just try for a fourth. And, yeah. You know? I met I met somebody when I was going through recruit school in the for the fire department that had I think his wife had had six miscarriages. Yeah, you did tell and me. And I was that. just like, yeah. and my first thought was, why do you keep going? Like that's it seemed selfish, but I'm glad we kept going and we finally got <laughs> this little this little tub of cookie dough. <laughs> Uh, yeah, oh, she's growing really well, by the way. She's 11 yeah. pounds, 3 ounces, 23 inches. She's 4 months. So for her gestational age and her being preemie, uh, she's actually doing really well. Yeah. So. She's a little agitated right now. I think she wants to go to sleep. Yeah, she's, she's getting, getting sleepy. Kind of fussy. But, yeah, and then from the from the pregnancy, I just remember you, you having a lot of fatigue. Oh, yes. A lot of fatigue. Lots of fatigue. Yeah. Um, and yeah, your appetite was all over the place. You didn't really crave anything crazy, just like fruit. You wanted a lot of fruit. I did want a lot good. of fruit. Which is good. Yeah. <laughs> um, but she tried to eat as healthy as possible. And and then, yeah, I, I had just gone through EMT class, because that's a, kind of a prerequisite for the fire department. So I know how to read blood pressures. So when they we had that appointment at 36 weeks. 36 weeks? 36. Yeah. In two days. I could, I could read. Are you sleepy? It's a big yawn. Uh, <laughs> I could read that it was really high, and then as the afternoon went on and they kept checking it, it just kept getting higher and higher. And, you know, like she said, you've, you've heard the story, but once it was like close to 200 over 100 something, I was like, that's like a hypertensive emergency like usually people go to the hospital for that right yeah. away because <laughs> that can cause a whole load of other complications and put a lot of stress on your heart so and the weird thing too that uh, he can attest to that but i felt fine yeah like i wasn't i didn't yeah. look crazy i felt fine but my blood pressure did not read that so yeah, and it was strange because i felt her pulse and it wasn't like usually if someone's had an overdose and you go up and check their you know pulse it's like pumping out of their skin like their heart's really going but her her pulse didn't feel out of the ordinary so it's really a strange occurrence but uh fast forward and this little one got booted out a few weeks early and <laughs> the yeah. day after yeah. i got induced she was born. four months along so we didn't have time to you know, we had a plan. We're like, we're going to pack a bag. We're going to have a uh, bassinet ready. We're going to have all this stuff. But then she, you know, came four weeks early. Yes, four weeks early so she came. So I had to leave the hospital and go get a bag. and It was just kind of a hectic time. But yes. I never felt stressed Yeah. through the whole process. And part of that was because uh, Ronette's mom came. And, uh, she came the day she's after. She's always... <laughs> She's always clutch. She always comes at the right time and <laughs> yeah. provides the right amount of help. And she's never overbearing and yeah. just a great, great lady. But thanks, mom. We love you. Yeah. <laughs> Can't wait to see you soon. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I don't know. I just felt God's peace throughout the whole thing, and yeah. <clears throat> I'm grateful for that. It's like just God. God keeps blessing us, whether it be financially or emotionally or spiritually and I, I don't deserve any of it but it just it keeps happening and that's I mean that is the gospel in a nutshell we he lived the life we couldn't live and died the death we should have died and mm. it's, it's that's free grace that's kind of crazy but <laughs> that's God <laughs> um, but yeah and then the rest of 2023 uh, hold on. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. oh dear let me take it <laughs> She's like, I need, a, I need to change a smell. I need a new body to lay on. Um, here. 
still got my baby. <laughs> got my baby. Yeah, Uzi is definitely Jordan's baby. Yeah. Look, he's all agitated too. Okay, Aww. you can go. Yeah. <laughs> um, but, Any resolutions or you want to talk more about last year? Oh, well, just getting hired uh, at the fire department. I've been there. I went on shift in August. So I guess I've been there a little over four months. And uh, it's exciting. It's not a fairy tale, that's for sure. I know, like, kids see firefighters and they're like the hero and stuff like that, but I don't feel like a hero, and, mo and most days it's not a really, like, a glorious <laughs> job. You see a lot of stuff you don't want to see, and uh, you're, you're seeing people on their worst day at their worst moment, oftentimes. Not every call, but uh, oftentimes it's like that, so. Um, but... I, I love it so far. <laughs> it's really awesome. Yeah, firefighter fits Jordan so well. Yeah, I don't, I don't know, yeah, I, I do feel like it fits me. It's, it doesn't feel like a job. It doesn't feel like a nine to five, obviously. It's 24 hour shifts, um, but it kind of just feels like you're going to this building with really cool toys and you hang out with your friends and then in, like sometimes you save lives. It's like, <laughs> it's as simple as I can put it. Um, but, yeah, and then, oh, that's pretty much it for 2023. Yeah, those are the highlights, I guess. Yeah. Um, resolutions. I don't ever make or resolutions. Or at least I don't wait for January 1st to try and make a change in my life. But... I guess that's a good excuse to try and start something new. Um, but I don't know if I had any. If we when we talked the other night about highs and lows. But yeah, we didn't really get to like a goal for the year. Or yeah. Goals for the year, but. Yeah, I mean er everything I'm working towards, I'm I'm already working towards. Again, uh, January first didn't like open any new doors for me personally. I'm always trying to get closer to God. Uh, I'm always trying to eat better and work out consistently, been going to the gym more. which I've been doing. Yeah, so um, most of my goals are usually spiritual. I don't really want for <clears throat> anything. Like I do, you know, it'd be nice to have a house um, instead of an apartment. But I'm grateful for our apartment. Yes. Um, so yeah, it'd be nice to have a brand new truck. But I'm grateful for my. Oh, yeah, a Camry. You know, I don't really... <laughs> <laughs> it gets you from A to B. Yeah. But my... Yeah, my spiritual goals just grow closer to God. And I know that's such a blanket statement. Like, a lot of a lot of Christians and pastors will say that, like, well, just give it to God. Well, what does that look like? What does that mean? And that's kind of my... Been my journey lately in my in my faith walk is, like... Practically, what does it look like to give your cares to God? And I can't honestly say that I've done anything different except pray and trusted. And sometimes it doesn't feel real. Sometimes I, it feels like I'm forcing myself to trust God. But I think if you take that first step, He'll meet you mm -hmm. and, and you know take you the rest of the way. Having faith as small as a mustard seed can do. Yeah. Great things. So it just, it's not, like if I want more patience, I'll just pray for it. And then I don't notice it every day, but then I look back like six months ago and I feel like, yeah, I'm a lot more patient than I was back then. Or I'll, I'll pray for like gentleness or, you know, any, any kind of fruit of the spirit that I think is lacking in my life. And then I pray, sometimes I pray like, hey God, I don't know what to pray for. I don't ever say, hey God, but. You know what I mean? Like I don't, I don't know what to pray for. Um, I just ask Jesus and the Holy Spirit to intercede for me, and He knows what I need. Sometimes I'm clouded by emotions or sin or something, and uh, I need a, and you know Jesus and the Holy Spirit to intercede for me. Oh, that's why. Oh, well, it was in Zoom. <laughs> that's why we were so close. Well, that's better. Oh. 
Yeah, the light That's got okay better. That's okay now. Yeah, and the light got better too. <laughs> gonna re-record everything. Sorry, you guys. I'm still say. trying to figure out this new camera here, but that's good. Thing. Yeah, so it's just a. Uh, I'm just have like diarrhea of the mouth right now, but I just whatever's in my head, I just say to God, and He's working on me, and I trust that, and that's as far as I've gotten for resolutions. <laughs> Like, all I know is that I just want to be closer to Him. I want to, when people see me, I want them to see Christ. I want them to see His fruit. And we're image bearers of God. So why not bear His image to the best of our ability? Oh, <laughs> meltdown. Keep that in. Drop some gems there, babe. Oh. Huh. I don't know. Thanks. I wouldn't call them gems, but... <laughs> Anything about just... God is a gem to me. Yeah. Are you struggling? <coughs> oh, goodness. We need a nap. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, yeah. Put me down. So, uh, anything else to add? <laughs> uh, no, I, don't, I can't think of anything right now. All right, well. no. Yeah, that is our... Second vlog of 2024 and our reflection and our goals uh, for the past year and goals for the new year. Reflection of the last year and goals for our new year. So thank you so much for watching. Sorry about the bad lighting. Thank you so much for your support throughout last year. Even though there was a chunk of time where I wasn't really recording any of my vlogs. Y'all know I've mentioned before, before doing these vlogs really helped me uh therapeutically i feel like it does help me to express myself uh to vent and to talk about um our god and to talk about my faith and to talk about beauty travel whatever um but uh thank you so much for again supporting and sticking around and may god bless you all and of course you want to take it away for the, the outro what do I say? Stay in the word and stay in prayer? Yeah. Oh. <clears throat> stay in the word and stay in prayer. Wow, you don't even know my outro? That's crazy. <laughs> Bye, you guys. See you next time.